Easy now. Shock 16, but once again, brap. Don't know what that was all about. Gaming just got gangster brethren. For sure. Bollocks. Anyway, um, if you can already read the title, you know what this video is already about. But if you can't read the title, and you're just listening to the words coming out of my mouth, then this video is about... <laughs> yeah. I said this video is about... <laughs> um, so yeah, um, trades. I did some trade. I traded some shit um, over the past weeks, and I've got some trades back. Not as in they've sent my trades back because they were shit, but they've sent me some stuff in trades. Trade for trades. You know how it works. So yeah, I stuck up a trades video sometime last week, or maybe the week before. I don't know. It's in the past. But yeah, if you haven't checked out that um, trades video yet, you can click the annotation, I'll put it somewhere there, take you to the video. There's still a few items left. Not much left, if I'm honest, but there is still a few items left, so go check it out. And yeah, there'll be annotations on the screen telling you what's left and what's not left. So if it takes your fancy, drop me a PM. I'd love to do some business with you. Um, but yeah, I already have done some business with some people, some fellow YouTubers, and... Here's what they sent me. So the first person I did a trade with was a good friend on here called Adam, better known as Interghost. I'm sure you already know who he is. Um, if not, go check out his channel. In fact, check out the low bar because everybody that I've done a trade with, I'll put the links to all their channels down there in the low bar. So yeah, check them all out. So yeah, first trade I did was with Adam Interghost. Um, I won't tell you what I've sent them because no doubt they'll probably show you or tell you in their own respective videos. In fact, I think Interghost, in fact, I know Interghost has already got his up at the minute. So, yeah, if you want to see what I sent him, go over to his channel, like I said, and check out what I sent him. So, anyway, on with the trades. Here's what he sent me. So, a couple um, of systems here that I've been really getting back into just lately. And the first one is the PlayStation 2. Um, yeah, I dusted off the PlayStation 2, brought it back down because it was in storage. And I'm actually thinking of giving it permanent residence again on my setup and turfing out the PS3. Because I don't really use the PS3 for much other than Blu-rays, DVD player and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I don't really get on with the PS3, to be honest with you, so... But the PS2, love that machine. So yeah, he sent over a few, well, a couple of PS2 games. The first one is Reservoir Dogs. Been wanting this um, game for quite a while now. It took my interest when it first came out. I'm a big fan of the film. I love the film Reservoir Dogs. And if you know anything about that film, you know that it takes place, like, the setup towards a dual, a dual heist. And then... Um, you see what happens after the dual heist, but you never see what happens during it. And this is where this game fills in. It fills in that part where they do the heist. So, looking forward to playing that one. But like I said, I've been after that for a while. In fact, I don't, I don't really collect that much for the PlayStation 2. There's only a few games that I really want. And then when I've got them all, I will kind of stop collecting. And then just pick up ones that are cheap, like the ones that I picked up the car boot sale yesterday, that just take my interest. But I don't really collect, collect for it, because I've already got most of the games that I want on the system. But yeah, anyway, um, here's another game that I've... Well, I was going to say I've always wanted, but I didn't actually know it existed on the PlayStation 2. And that is Half-Life. Never played Half-Life. I know, it's a tragedy, isn't it? Basically, why I want to play this is because I want to get the orange boxes on the Xbox 360 that's got Half-Life 2 on it. Lots of people say that it's one of the best games ever made for this system. They might be talking shit, but I'd rather make my own opinion on it by actually playing it. But I don't want to play it before playing the first Half-Life. And up till now, I thought that was just a PC-only game. I thought it was an exclusive for the P PC. Then I found out it was on PlayStation 2. Saw it in Adam's trades list. Bosh. I love a piece of that action. So yeah, another system that I've dusted off just lately and getting back into again don't really collect that much for the Mega Drive. Oh shit, I've already gave it away. Yeah, it's the Mega Drive anyway. <laughs> I wasn't meant to tell you what it was until like I'd done explaining. So yeah, it's the Mega Drive. I've dusted off the Mega Drive, brought it back down into the collection. It's now back up 
um, set up in the setup again. So again, really enjoying that again just lately. But I don't really collect for it. It's I was always more of a SNES kid. So you see, I'm just collecting the games that I would used to play when I was a kid round a mate's house or something, something with nostalgia. So yeah, um, if I pick up Mega Drive games, it will be something that um, has a nostalgic link to my childhood. So um, yeah, I picked up, well I didn't pick them up, I did these in trade with Adam Interghost, he sent these over, and they are Streets of Rage and Streets of Rage 2. Two absolute classic games. You can't have a Mega Drive without having at least one Streets of Rage game. But why not have them both if they've got them? So yeah, nice one Adam. Great stuff. On to the next person I did a trade with. So yeah, the next person I did a trade with was a guy called Killer Commando. Um, it's got a free in his name. I'll put the names up on the screen anyway, like I said, and the links will be to the channels down below. Um, did a few trades with him. He sent me a couple of things over. A few Sega Saturn games which I needed on my list to tick off. And they are Shockwave Assault, which he has told me is apparently absolutely shocking. It's really bad, but he says the um, FMV sequences and um, cutscenes in it are quite cheesy and very nostalgic and stuff like that. So yeah, if for nothing else, it's for the cheesy FMV um, cutscenes. And another game which is supposed to be terrible, I think um, might have been Darren Walshot was um, playing it not long back, and it was really, <laughs> and he was. I think he was slagging it off and it's high octane but yeah again another one that I needed for the um, full collection so nice one Killer Commando that the oh and he's back just getting some games here so yeah um, next person I did a trade with was Stuart Ninja Bear Hug I'm sure you all know who he is as well big player within the community big player uh huh so, um, yeah, did a straight swap for him, one game for one game, and that was, he again had a Sega Saturn title that I needed for the full collection, and that was Zed, the Bitmap Brothers, a game which really caught me off guard. I didn't think it was going to be like this. I expected a first-person shooter, but it, I don't know if you can see the screenshots. Yeah, I don't know how well they've come out, but it caught me off guard because it's actually, um, a strategy game, an action strategy game, so yeah, that looks quite interesting to play actually. Now, on um, Ninja Bear Hug's trade list, he also had a few other games that I needed for the full collection as well. So I bought them off him as well. I thought, wow, man, I might as well see if they're up for sale, if he's willing to sell them. And he is selling them off, so good stuff. So he sent them across as well. So the first one is Formula Carts. Don't need no explanation what it is, it's just cart racing. A game that I did used to have actually, but my copy of it that I used to have, I wasn't all that pleased with it. It was kind of a poor copy, so I gave it away, but now I've got it back. Nice nick. Solid cases. This was the way forward. Whoever designed the cardboard cases needs shooting. Um Sega Worldwide Soccer 98 Club Edition. I already have 97. So I expect this is just more of the same. Probably with a few extra features. And of course, involving clubs instead of international teams. Um, another one. This looks quite a good racer, actually. It's called um, Off World Interceptor Extreme. Yeah, it just says racer. Blast across rugged 3D textured map terrain as you blow away huge bosses. Which means you're probably going to go over the side, um, get some polygon crashing, and then your game will fuck up or some shit like that. But whatever. Look at the artwork on that as well. That is some good artwork for a PAL case, that is. Yeah, I'm impressed with the artwork on that. Awesome stuff. Next one. Winter Heat, Sega Sports. Yeah, basically just winter sports games. I think you go tobogging on it, snowboarding, skiing, you know, all the shit you do in the Winter Olympics. So, yeah, again, another one that I needed. Don't know why I keep saying another one I needed. They're all what what I need, otherwise I wouldn't have asked for them. And yeah, virtual racing. 
this actually looks quite poor. <laughs> Compared to some of the other racers on the system, this looks quite poor, but yeah, virtual racing. So there we go, guys. That's everything that I have um, traded for recently that I've got in trade and I've brought. Um, anything else to tell you? No, I don't think that's. I think that's everything for now. Um, like I said, check out the people I've mentioned. Links to the channels in the low bar. And if you want to see what's left on that trades list, go check out that video as well. Again, link in the low bar. If you've missed the annotation at the start, um, that's it. Until next time, I'll be shot 16. You've been great. I'll see you next time. Peace.